Good evening, everyone. Happy Thursday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Panini Prison Baseball full case. 12 box, pick your team, number two. If you're watching the replay of this, there is going to be a recap video in a separate video. So check that out. For those of you watching live, you're stuck with me for about the next hour and 15, 20 minutes. Um, all right. So first off, big thanks to all these people who bought teams straight up. Now we also need to do the uh, spot random right here. We sold. We just sold that out a few moments ago, so thank you. We have 16 spots. We sold 16 spots. We just randomize your names and then match you up right here. Number one on the randomizer gets that, et cetera, et cetera. In fact, I have it right here. Boom, boom, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So once I randomize those names, we'll fill in these names right here for those teams. Name on top, you get $140 of break credit. I'll send that to you after the break is over. And then the rest of you here, the four people here, will get one spot in uh, the six box, random team break number three, which is from a, a fresh case. And I think still think there's like 20 spots left at this moment in time. There's about 20 spots left on jazbeescasebreaks.com. All right. Very big thank you to all of these folks right here for giving this a shot. Good luck. Let's randomize that list three and a four lucky seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven times, Drew Kerr, all the way down to Jared. So congrats to Drew. $140 of break credit coming your way. Matt, you got the White Sox. Jay with the Astros. Ryan L, you got my Dodgers. Drew, you also have the Mariners. Jeremy S with the Cardinals. EO with the Phillies. Richard, you have the Pirates. Chris Parent with the Giants. Jay Tinney with the Nationals. Jeremy S with the Rangers. Fidel Cairo with the Tigers. And then Ryan, Richard, Colton, and Jared, you have a spot in Random Team 3. There you go. Congrats, Drew. There he is. He's like, woohoo. All right, so Matt, you have the White Sox. And we'll put a little rooftop next to your name so you know that's from a spot random. Jay, you have the Astros. Ryan with my Dodgers. Drew with the Mariners. Jeremy S. with the Cardinals. E.O. with the Phillies. Richard with the Pirates. Obviously, if you're watching the replay of this, you can fast forward through this part. Okay. Chris Parent, Oppo Joe Mojo gets the Giants. Oh, I guess Robert didn't want the Giants anymore. All right, there you go, Giants. We got Jay with the Nationals. Jeremy with S with the Rangers. And Fidel with the Tigers. All right, let's print. Let's rip. Got basketball on right now. Portland's up by one point. With two minutes left in the game. Crazy.
All right, good luck, everybody. Now, this break does take a little while. What's up, Blarg? What's going on? This break does take a while. So relax, settle in. Get comfortable. There's the final printout. Let's open up this case. Oh, it's heavy. And we'll see what we can get. If you check out our Twitter, at Jaspies Breaks, you'll see some pictures of some of the nice hits we pulled yesterday. So definitely well worth, well worth it. are all over the place. All right, so there's three right here on this side, three right here, and one, two. On well, that box is all the way over there. Let's slide that over there. Three right over here, and three on this side right here. So there you go. Those are your all of your 12 boxes. And now let's go. Let's get into it. Actually, I'm going to move these boxes just off to the side right here. Hey, no worries, Drew. Thanks for giving it a shot. You can't win if you don't play. So I appreciate you playing. What kind of camera do we... We can't tell you all of our secrets, Sam. There may be, there may be competitors listening. Wants to steal all of our, all of our, uh, all of our secrets. They'll be like, "Oh, I can, we can be just like Jaspies." Not that easy to get that secret information. Oh, you told him to leave, Sam? It's a camera made by a, uh, a popular electronics company. That are pretty good producers of cameras. What is this camera? All right, good luck, everybody. It's a camera. It does things. There's Reese McGuire to 299. So I'm not going to sleeve. I'm going to have our shipping team sleeve and top load all of these. So I'm just going to set these aside, ladies and gentlemen. They'll be taken care of. Don't worry, unless it's like out of ten or less or something like that. But helps shave some some time off the break. There's, well, man, remember Miguel Tejada out of 99? Uh, does, it does the camera cost more or less than a Baker RPA? Less. We don't have that kind of production budget. Not yet. Kyle Tucker, 23 out of 50. Snakeskin parallel. Nice rookie auto for the Astros. Jay Tinney on the board with the Astros. He got the Astros in a spot random. These blue ones I'm going to breeze by. They're not numbered, but of course they will ship. Nice Bryce Harper. Gold, 2 out of 50. 
Two out of 50, two out of 10, I'm losing my mind. That obviously goes to the Phillies. EO with the Phils. Gets the Bryce Harper gold. That card is gold. I'm going to breeze by these red ones too. I think these are numbered. Yeah, Michael Brantley to 60. We got Chad Sabotka, rookie auto for the Braves. Daniel Sloan with the Bravos. That's our second of three autographs per box. We got Jalen Beeks to 199 for Tampa Bay. We got Andrew Heaney for the Angels to 150. Miles Mikolas to 150. And Dodgers, Caleb Ferguson. That goes to Ryan with my Dodgers. Punisher Prime, are you already doing Come On Yelich? Oh boy, we got a long ways to go, my friend. Golden State wins. Juan Gon Gonzalez to 35. Kyle Tucker to 399. Kyle Wright for the Braves to 399. Isaac Galloway to 299 for Miami. Rafael Devers to 299. All right, so there are your first three autographs. And the next box that was just off to the side. Go back to MLB Network. All right, looks like the I had some financial interest in some games here. The Cubs did not beat the Reds, but the White Sox did beat the White Sox, or the, the White Sox did beat the Blue Jays, which is what I wanted to happen. I've got the Padres Pirates game on MLB Network. Pirate, uh, Padres are up one. I'm on the Padres, and I've got financial interest in the Padres, and I've got financial interest in the Mariners, who are down 9-1 by the end of the fourth. But still early in that Mariners game, so hopefully I've got some time. Atomic Card Guy has the Mets. He could use a uh, Jeff McNeil gold auto. Yeah, Jeff McNeil's been playing pretty well. Uh, we got Eddie Rosario. Nice one for the Twins. He's been hitting pretty well this season. Derek Williams.
There's Michael Kopeck to 199. What are you talking about, Ryan? <laughs> I'll just I'll just let you do your thing, man. Gary Carter to 150. There's Pablo Lopez, rookie auto for the Marlins. Who has the fish? Rick Barker with the fish. He's been a regular starter for the Marlins here. Oh, I see. All right. Carlos Rodon, zebra, to 99 for the White Sox. We got Robinson Cano to three ninety nine. There's there's my boy Max Muncie to three ninety nine. Danny Jansen to two ninety nine. We got Mariano Rivera to three ninety nine, and twenty seven out of seventy five, Daniel Ponce de Leon, rookie auto for the Cardinals. That goes to Jeremy S, who got the Cardinals in the spot random. Brad Keller to three nine. Sorry, the focus is off a little bit. There's Brad Keller to three ninety nine for the Royals. So tons of parallels, and these there's hot boxes in here too. There's Eugenio Suarez two ninety There's Nick Cufo to 199. There's Tun, Tyler O'Neill to 299 for the Cardinals. And Carlos Carrasco, nice, two out of 50 snakeskin parallel. I kind of like that snakeskin parallel, it's growing on me. All right, there are your three autos here. Next box, let me clear away some of these cards and get myself a little bit of room here. Um, I've not hit, they call them, uh, there's no super fractors in this set. They call them black finite, one of one. We've hit a couple. Well, I don't want snakes crawling on me, Philo. That's not my thing. The parallel, I'm okay with the parallel. And Rick was saying earlier, the longer you do breaks, the more you appreciate any hits. I feel like there's a cycle there. Um, like at, at the beginning, when you start doing breaks, you're like, "Ooh, any hits, cool. I'm just, I'm just happy to be here. Fun to do breaks." And then your expectations grow over time, over the months. You're uh, and you're like chasing hits, and you're thirsting for hits, and you you want hits. You're demanding hits. You feel like you deserve hits. And then after a while, <laughs> that process breaks you down. And then you go back to being like, you know what? I just appreciate getting Amy hit in a break. <laughs> there is like a there is like a, a a curve, an experience curve that happens. Everyone spends way too much money at the beginning, and then eventually they they kind of figure out what their budget is going to be for breaks each week or month or whatever, and then 
and they figure that out, and then they're a lot happier after that. <laughs> So, it's a process, but it's fun. There, there's, there's definitely ways to, to enjoy this. Obviously, you want to use your disposable income on this. And it's fun money, you know. It's like, it's what it's supposed to be. It's like a. Sometimes they can be expensive lottery tickets. Sometimes, sometimes you do a twenty dollar scratcher. Fifty dollar scratcher, as the case may be. We got Colin Perez to two ninety nine for the Astros, and Stephen Duggar. He's your red prism autograph for the Giants. Chris Parent with the Giants. There's Dakota Hudson to 199. Come on, what's going on with this Padres defense? Don't they realize that I have financial interest in the Padres? There's Roger Clemens, Astros edition to 60. Man, sorting might be a little bit on the slower side for these. Usually they have nice big logos on the back, which makes it easy to sort. But anyway. All right, out of one fifty, Kyle Freeland. We got Fran Mill Reyes, who's playing right now, out of three ninety nine. There's Javier Guerra to 399. Adrian Beltre, silver. Tim Anderson, who's been raking this season to 75. Oh, safe. And we've got Danny Jansen, catcher for the Blue Jays. 46 out of 50, snakeskin autograph. That goes to Zach Hargrove with the Blue Jays. Um, and Gilo, to answer your question from earlier, yes, I have held a live snake before. Multiple live snakes. There's Felix Hernandez to 50. For the Mariners, Rowdy Tellez. Diego Castillo to 299. Jake Bowers to 399. Atomic Carga, you're happy that Bryce Harper's having a bad season? Why? Did Bryce Harper come over to your house and kick your dog? There's Blake Trinan to 399 for the A's. And Kendall Graveman is your autograph for the Cubbies. EA with the Cubs. And Dwayne Underwood to 99. No relation to carry? Maybe. Probably not. All right. Next box. Sam S. Joe, do you think you'll eventually you'll get arthritis eventually from doing these breaks? I don't know. Where does a uh, where does arthritis come from? Like, I don't even know, how, how does that work medically? Is like, is over, over usage like, 
can cause arthritis or is it more genetic or is it, I don't know. Um, I don't think so. I, I stretch my hands out a lot, arms and hands, you know, keep a, keep a strong core and, uh, and strong arms and forearms to make sure that I'm not using bad posture when I'm holding these cards. Stretch a lot. Stretching is good. I've played, uh, as a, I'm a musician, so I use my hands a lot in music. So I think uh, I think that has kept my hands limber and loose and non-arthritic. Like any good baseball player, I have strong wrists and whatnot. So I'm hoping to avoid the the arthritis, right, Jay? Hoping to avoid that, but I don't know what what causes, or like what causes that. What else? Or the other factors? Out of seventy-five, Harrison Bader. Is it just over usage, or repeated usage? Josh James, rookie autograph. <laughs> right, that's right, Gilo. Keep my Tesla on auto drive, to, so I don't have to use my hands. Josh James for the Strohs. That's going to go to Jay and the Astros. Jay got the Astros in a spot random. Yeah, I honestly don't know either if it's just overuse or if it's genetic. Anyone know? Anyone have arthritis they want to share? Maybe some people are more genetically predisposed. Jay saying it's more genetic. You could be more predisposed to getting that kind of stiffness. But I mean, I wouldn't know. Like some people don't use their hands a lot, and then they they're still seventy five years old and they still have arthritis. You know what I mean? So, I guess when you just get old, you could just get arthritis. Yeah, I guess carpal tunnel may be more of a risk. Um, we make sure that these the tables that we use are at the right height and all that sort of stuff. Cole Stewart, and again, I do a lot of a lot of hand stretches and whatnot to to keep my hands loose and limber. Wait, from doing what? What Atomic Card guy? It's a family show. I don't know if you could say that on air. Ahmed Rosario. No one's gonna watch this, right? No one's gonna watch like an hour and a half of this. I don't know if you can get carpal tunnel from meth or crack cocaine. Can you get arthritis from crack cocaine and meth? I don't know. I could I could eat I guess I could eat a meth right now. And then uh we'd be we'd be breaking prisms all night. Whoa, Punisher Prime says Vince says I had carpal tunnel before it sucks. I had surgery for that to help a lot of arthritis. It's coming from from breaking your hand. How'd you break your hand? Hunter Dozier, Royals. So Jay is in the business of using his hands. Is 62 and still has limber hands, yeah. Use it or lose it, right? Use it or lose it. Scott Barlow with that one. And Jonathan Davis, rookie auto for the Blue Jays. That's our third auto of the box. That goes to Zach Hargrove. I feel like I'm doing enough different activities during a during a break where I think it keeps it from where it kind of prevents carpal I think I think my hands are in a good position and I'm doing different things so I'll be you know think about all the different motions that I'm doing so there's Kirby Puckett so there's the card shuffling motion right and there'll be pack opening motion too so this doesn't I guess sometimes this thumb gets a little sore right here. There's Jack Flaherty to 150. So in that case, I'll I'll try to I'll try to use 
It's kind of hard to show you, but when I'm flipping cards, I'll also use the middle finger back here to slide the cards from the back and not use this thumb as much. So I try to balance it out. Out of 150, Whit Merrifield. There's a cop right there. What's that cop doing? We're okay. We're okay. They're just like, hey, we heard you were pulling a lot of heat. We just want to make sure that, that there wasn't any, any trouble here. And they're like, it's okay, officers. All right, next box. I, know, I think they just pulled over someone who was speeding down that street. <laughs> yeah, what if I did get arrested mid-break? Atomic, I saw what Atomic was saying, or the Rick is like practicing that sleight of hand for the Cooks to 99. Man, that guy didn't even use sleight of hand. It was, it was, it was, there was no slight in that at all. It's just blatant, blatant hand. I could be on live. It looks like they just pulled over someone from, for, for speeding. A lot of too many people speed down that street. Cracking your knuckles gives you arthritis. I crack my knuckles all the time. Or is that an old wives' tale? So this is a parallel hot box. These guys are obviously will ship, but they're not numbered. So that's why I'm going to kind of fly by those. But they're nice. Trust. There's a Rod Mariners edition to 75. There's Walker Bueller to 199 for the Dodgers. We'll save one of these silver Ramon Laureanos as well. There's Jaime Berea out of 50, snake skin. He's a cold hearted snake. Look into his eyes. Uh oh. He's been telling lies. Out of 150, Justin Williams, should we get Paula Abdul to do a break here? Kyle Tucker for 399. And Chance Adams. All we are saying is give peace a chance, Adams. Randy with the Yankees.
John Lester to 399. Miguel Andujar, who opted for shoulder surgery. It was just kind of a disappointment after how good he was last season. It just didn't look right this season. But that opens the door for Gio Urshela. Picked him up in my fantasy team last night. Jake the Snake Bowers for the Tribe. That goes to Karen. Atomic Card Guy was asking earlier, what are some of the surprise teams in baseball? What are some of the surprise teams in baseball? I would say the Tampa Bay Rays being starting off the season as strong as they have, that's been a bit of a surprise. The Yankees with multitude of a multitude of injuries are only a game behind, half a game behind the Rays. So that's kind of a surprise. There's Jake Cave to 199. I'm just going down the standings right now. Um, Boston being struggling is a surprise. There's Kevin Kramer, 36 out of 60. Um, twins, right, Twins being 27 and 15 on the season, four games ahead of the Indians in the AL Central. That's a surprise. I think everybody, I thought the Twins were going to be pretty good. Remember, they were, they were a playoff team two years ago. Uh, went down this year, and I expected a an up this year. But I didn't think they'd be leading the Indians by four games at, in mid-May. You know, so I thought that was a little surprising. Kevin Kramer goes to the Pirates. That'll be for Richard Appleton. Next box. Because everyone was like, oh, Cleveland Indians, there's, that team's so good, they're just going to cakewalk through the AL Central, and everyone else will be 500, and... No, not the case. Yeah, and the White Sox playing some competent baseball too. They're they're just a couple games under 500, just two games under 500, and uh, they've got a really good young core. The White Sox, I think that's what that's what helps them, because if they start to start to emerge, you know, I don't think Eloy Jimenez hasn't really even gotten hot yet, right? You got Eloy Jimenez, Jose Abreu is already good. You got Tim Anderson raking. You know, kind of a bummer about Carlos Rodon. I think he went down with a but, with Tommy John, I think. But no, I think I think they're pretty good. Oh, Eloy's been hurt. All right, he's supposed to come back this weekend. Uh, let's see, AL West. I think not too many surprises there. I think they are who we thought they were in the AL West. Astros are seven and a half games ahead of the Mariners in that division. NL East. I guess this is also they are who we thought. I guess I guess the uh, Nationals struggling as much as they have. I think is interesting. But they could easily turn that around. They got a great starting rotation that's not been pitching well, or at least consistently. Terrible, terrible bullpen. They got one of the worst bullpens in baseball, if not the worst bullpen in baseball. So, so that that's what accounts for the national struggles, but which was kind of a surprise to me. I think NL Central dogfight. I think we always saw that. I think the Pirates being twenty-one and nineteen, right? They're percentage points ahead of the Cardinals in the standings as of right now. You know. That's a that's a bit of a surprise, right? There's Jonathan Luizaga to two ninety nine. And we got Richie Martin for the or oh yeah he was on the A's for last year I think. That goes to the O's. That's for EA and the Orioles. Pitch. 
There's Burgundy Shimmer, Derek Rodriguez, 25, for the Giants. It's kind of a cool new color they're using this year. And I don't think any surprises in my, in my uh, NL West. There's Edmundo Sosa. Kaiser Sosa. There's Aaron Judge at a 199, just 100 off that jersey number. Trout and Luis Castillo at a 399. He's been having a great season for the Reds. Juan Gonzalez to 299. And we got Brian McCann for the Braves. Nice one for Daniel Sloan. He's carved out a really good, uh, really good career for himself. Yeah, no surprises in the NL West. I think the Dodgers are going to take care of that division. I think the Diamondbacks actually being 24 and 20. They've been playing some good baseball. I didn't think they would be the threat this season. Uh, there's Tim Lincecum to 199. I don't think the Padres are 22 and 21. I don't know if the Padres are going to be able to keep it up over the course of a season. Team too young, too inexperienced, not enough starting pitching. Giants are terrible. Favorite all-time baseball, football, and basketball player? That would be Jackie Robinson. He was an excellent baseball player. Played a little football at UCLA and basketball. Got him. Got him in one. And there's Sean Reed Foley. 15 out of 60 for the Blue Jays. More for Zachary. I don't know if I really have any favorite all-time those guys. You know what I mean? Never really... Uh, <laughs> you slide doggies. No, in all honesty, in all seriousness, I don't really do the favorite player thing. I don't do... Um, like all-time thing. There's Hunter Renfro. I've always been interested in the in the sport, the teams, but less about the individuals. You know, the game lives on. The team lives on far beyond the individual. And then I'm always worried I'll have a favorite player and then they turn out to be like a, you know, like a child kidnapper. You know what I mean? And they beat women and I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> Why do I have all this stuff? Mookie Betts to 35. I also do not hero worship like celebrities or anything. I do not get starstruck or anything like that. I do like Bo Jackson. Yeah. Not a 199. I probably end up having favorite players based on what they do post-career. Like, you know. Like maybe I like Charles Woodson because he's like he's making wines, expensive wines that I can't afford, but he's making wines. And I'm just like, yeah, all right, Charles Woodson, good for you. And he has the confidence to pull off an ascot. I don't know if I could do that. If Will Ferrell walked to the door wearing his Ricky Bobby, I don't know if I'd be starstruck, but I would definitely. I would definitely be surprised, and I'd be like, I'll, I'll be, I'll be riffing with him back and forth. I really like Vince Scully. I guess if there's anything close to like 
hero or whatever, it would be Vince Scully, I guess. Just from a professional perspective. That the one man broadcasting booth never happens, doesn't happen anymore. I don't think anyone does it. Does Bob Euchre do a one man booth? He might have someone next to him. But the one man the, the one man booth is 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 dead in baseball. And it's hard too, because you have to you know there's a lot of time to fill in baseball between pitches, between innings and whatnot, and between pitching changes and to be able to to weave a story is pretty difficult. And with Vince Scully, it was like a narrative, which was a treat. And I don't think I realized how I was spoiled growing up in L.A. I didn't realize how, I just thought that that's how everyone did it. But then I realized, no, that's how Vince Scully does it. You can listen to a, a baseball game on the radio or on TV, and he'll craft a story from inning one through nine. So he'll reference things. He'll call back to stories that he was telling in the first few innings and bring it back to his the, a player's third at bat, fourth at bat of the night, and wrap it all up. Storyteller throughout a live event I thought was pretty impressive. Sean Newcomb to 299. We've got Reese McGuire for the Blue Jays. Red Prism Auto for Zach and the Blue Jays. So a few autos for Zach. Still looking for you know who. Mike Piazza to 199. Miguel Andujar to 399. I think Prime Harry Carey must have been really good, right? I think he was. Uh, I think he was a solo. He was a one-man booth. There's a broadcaster for the Padres. I'm blanking on his name right now. Out of 199, there's Eniel de los Santos for the Phillies. I think was also a one-man booth for a little while. Yeah, Vlad was last night. But I'm sure we can get another one for Zach. Don't ruin Zach's hopes. There's Justice Sheffield, Silver, and there's Pedro Martinez, Wave, to 60. Got to get well. Thank you, Drew. That I I definitely, I definitely pattern that off of like Vince Scully, you know. So especially in longer breaks like this, you kind of ha I kind of have to, uh, you know, you try to have, try to be able to talk about Byron Buxton for a little bit. You know what I mean? That feels t like five ten minutes. You know. Got to have discussion in in between the chats and everything. I know. I mean, this is. Otherwise, it'd be a drag for you guys, too. It'd be a drag for me. It'd be a drag for you if we were just silently flipping through cards and listening to a little bit of the Pirates-Padres game in the background. So the idea is to try to, at least for the people watching live, to be able to deliver a little bit of at least discussion or something like that. There's Jeff McNeil. There you go, Rick Barker. Boom. Jeff McNeil. Metropolitans playing up pretty, pretty well. There's Roger Clemens to 399, Astros edition. Yeah, you should watch the guys just be silent through the whole break. I don't know, I don't know how you can do that. It'd be boring for me, too. It'd be boring for me, boring for the audience. Who wants to watch that? At 99, Teoscar Hernandez. I think Jeff McNeil is eligible for Rookie of the Year, right? I think he has less than less than 70 games of less than 70 games. I think I don't know whatever that is.
There's Big Boppy to two ninety nine. Or <laughs> Drew's also mentioning there's also guys that try way too hard to be excited. Um, I mean, hey, I just keep it real, man. You know, and I think, I think there's a certain. I think if you have a certain, at least decent knowledge, you don't have to be an expert. If you have a decent knowledge of the hobby, you know what the big cards are and what the bad cards are, and you know how to, you know, to massage the hurt wallets for those of you who get bad hits. You know, but then also try to uplift them as well, but not blow smoke up their ass too. You know what I mean? Like I'm not gonna try to try to tell you that that one autograph of random player X Y Z is the best thing in the world. That's just a lie. You know, but you know, I, I can at least be like, hey, a hit's a hit. You know, some people get nothing. You know, a lot of people in the break get nothing. And you try to massage that a little bit. Try it. Try to dry, dry some tears a little bit and then be really excited for the people that do get the nice hits. But thankfully, it's not, not too hard to talk about sports and talk about baseball cards, right? So... Or maybe it is, I don't know, but for me, not too hard to talk about sports and other random stuff and about about baseball cards and stuff, so it's pretty easy. Some dudes are like, whoa, Ryan Tannehill patch, <laughs> insane, I've never seen one. Well, you should look at our, you should watch our videos from like year one. There's definitely a different energy level. <laughs> But I guess over the years, we start doing more breaks. You know, you start breaking more nights and more hours. At some point, you know, I have to, like, manage uh, manage energy levels. There's Trevor Williams to try to manage energy levels or else you're going to burn yourself out by night two. Uh, Bryce Harper to 150 for Jay and the Nats. Goes along with the gold one we just saw. There's Danny Jansen to 299. Sorry, Raddy Tellers. Ronald Acuna and Kristen Stewart. Nice to 75. Nice sort of X Fractor. X Factor? Fractor? Autograph? For the Tigers, I think the Tigers were, yeah, a spot random team. That went to Fidel Cairo. Nice. Yeah, Todd, Todd saying, I've watched some other breakers. You just can't stand watching them. Too annoying. Well, I feel like a lot of them are really, can be really young too. They're either really, they're too young or they're too old and bitter. There's Roddy Tellez autograph. There he is. After I dropped his base card. Won't drop this one. That's for Zach and the Blue Jays. I know. I think one different thing about maybe one one different thing about Jaspies, something that we th that from day one. It's uh, Javier Baez is trying to fake me out there. I thought it was an autograph. One thing that we wanted to. To say there's Tyler Maley. Uh, when we started the show was we want we want to call it a show. We want to think of it as TV, as entertainment. So I think that's kind of like the base attitude that we have whenever we go on air, whenever I go on air. You know, there's Roselle Herrera for the Miami Marlins, Rick Barker. So we always wanted to treat it like that. This is television, so we want to have good production value. And um, we want to try to have good microphones, good sound, good, you know, we want to be centered in the camera, have a nice background, you know, have good lighting and have all that stuff. And we want, that's something that we consciously want to do and consciously want to do that because we want it to be a show. We want it to be like TV. So we want to keep things entertaining, even if 
we're maybe we're just waiting for a break to fill. We want something to still be going on. We want to do what you guys are doing. We want to watch TV and watch sports together and chit chat. You know what I mean? Some of you guys are, are married with children. You can't go out with your buddies all the time, drinking beers on a Tuesday night, right? And and, and just watching sports and goofing off. But you can still take care of the kids and maybe keep Jaspies on the side, on the side iPad or something like that. You can still watch that way. But you can still feel like you're hanging out with the guys, you know. And I feel like. So yeah, that faked me out too. That's an autograph though. There it is. Scott Barlow for the Royals. Zebra print autograph for Karen. And ladies like the, like Karen, girls can hang out too. I feel like it's a good space for that. You know, it's not just a bunch of bunch a bunch of dudes like I don't know, just sitting around being lame. <laughs> I guess this is this is a very LA thing of me to say, but I guess I want to. I want this to be as, as kind of nerdy as this stuff is for us. I want this to be kind of cool, right? I want people to be able to watch with family, friends, girlfriends, boyfriends, whatever, right? David, there's David Fletcher, Mark Iron. Oh, this is an autograph hot box. Look at all those autographs stacked up there. David Fletcher and the or Mark Irons and the Angels getting David Fletcher. Sixty out of ninety-nine. So we want this to be. A, for people to be able to share this with friends and family and coworkers and whatnot and not have it be like a, oh, why are you watching that guy? You know, that's kind of weird. <laughs> You're watching this silent dude with black gloves or whatever you want to call it or cursing and yelling or whatever. Do you, do you, some, that might work for some people, but that's not, that's not our, our style, not our brand, I think. And there's Riley Farrell or Farrell. That goes to, we'll have to ask Riley someday. That goes to Rick Barker and the Marlins. So, yeah, and yeah, the interaction, I think, is a big thing for. So, here's an autograph hotbox, by the way, kids. And so, I think the interaction is important for us, too, Drew. We want to build that community, place where people can hang out. Again, whether you're watching with other people or you're watching with other people in the chat, you want to be able to kind of hang out, right? All right, four boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. We're almost there. We've got about another 20, 30 minutes to go. We're getting there. This should bring us close to the top of the hour, which is the last hour of our broadcast. Um, I don't see any orders coming in now, but for those of you who maybe are not in this break and you want to try to get something else going, maybe... Start looking at the website now. Maybe start figuring out what we can get into. Prime Hockey is easy to do. Upper Deck Supreme Hard Court is fun. Um, National Treasures Collegiate Football. We did the first half today. It looked awesome. Second half could follow that same trend. Maybe some Contenders Football three-box break. So it's your thing. Do what you want to do. Wait, what? People do that, Sam? The fact that I don't post the whole live stream on YouTube and just the separate breaks? Wait, are you telling me that you buy into you buy into some breaks and they make you watch a whole like five, eight hour stream to find your break and you have to fast forward through all that? That's not, that's crazy talk. Those those guys must have just started breaking. <laughs> they must have started breaking like yesterday. No one does that. Those are noobs. Any breaker worth their salt is separating those videos. No one wants to watch the entire stream. Or a recording of the entire stream. Get out of here. That's bad production.
No, that, well, that, that's, you know, there are a lot of good breakers out there. You know what I mean? But you can't, you can't do that. You can't watch three hours of someone. No, that's amateur hour, Sam. Andrew Heaney, three ninety nine. That's amateur hour. You don't want any part of that guy. There's Patrick Wisdom. There it is, like King Solomon of old. Patrick Wisdom going to the Rangers. That'll be for Jeremy S., who got the Rangers in a spot random. There's Justin Smoke. Speaking of vapors, Todd, out of 150. Oh, right, right, right. Rex, you're absolutely right. There are no other guys. What do you got? We're the only ones that, that have figured this out. There's Nolan Ryan to 399, Astros edition. There's Anthony Rendon. 299. There's Eugenio Suarez to 299. Cardinals. Cardinals. Reds. A red team. Ken Griffey Jr. to 299. Mariners. We got Lorenzo Cain to 150. And Ryan, I feel like we're getting every Blue Jay, Zach, except for you know who. There's Yachty to 399. There's Juan Gon Gonzalez to 99. I don't know. I see a couple of orders coming in, Drew. So, actually, after I made my statement about you guys want, oh, that's one from you. Steve Locke put in an order too, about 10 minutes ago. So I don't know. We'll we'll look at those and see see what happens. Um, I don't know. If not, folks, I don't want to push anybody to do to do breaks they don't want to do because I'd rather have that money go into Spectra basketball tomorrow. So you can pre-order teams now. 42S75, Jeff McNeil, X-Factor, autograph and a parallel. Rick, it's Atomic Card Guy. Max Scherzer, 299. <laughs> yeah, Zach's like, I know. Come on, Vladdy. Vlad? No, Lewis. Lewis Brinson, Miami Marlins, Rick Barker. <laughs> Auto correct, Gilo. Oh, we got Patrick Corbin. 39 out of 50. Snakeskin. Look at that. It's a cool parallel. All right, here we go. All right, what's going on? What's going on in baseball right now? Braves won 10-2. Indians won 14-7. Rangers won 16-1 over the Royals. Over the Tigers, 17-3. A lot of high-scoring games. Brewers beat the Phillies, 11-3. Nationals edged out the Mets, 7-6. The White Sox beat the Blue Jays, 4-2. I had the financial interest in the White Sox. That's good. And the Reds beat the Cubbies, 
I have financial interest in two more of these late games, ladies and gentlemen. I'm on the Padres. They've got a man on first with two outs in the bottom of the sixth. Only down by a run, so I think they can do it. And then I've got financial interest in the Mariners, who are down 9-1. We've now crawled back to 9-3 behind the Twins. Hmm. Can they score six runs in seven, eight, nine, in three, three frames? They could. Seattle were like the comeback kids last year. I think they had uh, they had more like comeback wins than any other team in the league, like twenty or something like that, something ridiculous. Comebacks, walk-offs. Yeah, what did Chatwood do? I was on the Cubs too. Is that is that who I'm supposed to blame, Rex? I need someone to blame. What share of the blame pie does he get? He gave up one earned run. I blame Jose Quintana for giving up three earned runs. Oh, or were that were those his runners, but Chatwood let them in? Come on, Tyler Chatwood. Tyler Chatwood. Maybe those are inherited runners. All right, three boxes to go. Here we go. We got. Miguel Conforto, 399. Starling Marte, Marty to 50. Justice Sheffield, Eustace Sheffield. We've got Johan Camargo to 99 for the Bravos. Freddy Peralta to 299 for the Brew Crew. Chatwood screwed the Cubs. Rex says, I don't know, but I blame him anyway. Todd Reardon doesn't like Quintana. Quintana's a waste of mound space. Oh, well, that was my mistake for, for, for betting on him. Oh, well, he, he, he gave up a homer to Peraza and threw a wild pitch and then... Now this this is looks like a like a Quintana mess up. Out of three ninety nine, Reese McGuire, and we've got Thomas. How do you say this last name, Zach? I think you're a Blue Jays fan, right? Pannone? 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 Is that Italian? Maybe it's more anglicized. Yankees baseball cards. Are you in this break? You tell me. I don't know. If you check your, uh, wait, what's your name again? If you check your receipt, we send you a, a receipt of what break you buy into and allow the break number. This is pick your team too. Jose Ramirez to 199. Oh, you're not a Jays fan. You don't know. You're just chasing the Vlad Guerrero Jr. Does anyone know how to say his last name? Yeah, that you Darvish deal was was pretty terrible. I don't think you guys should have given him that much money out of seventy five. Uh, Rex is saying, well, that's not a good reason to grab someone though, right? Or pay someone that much. Rex is saying they grabbed Darvish because there wasn't anyone else. That's like saying, <laughs> that's like, it's at the end of the night at a bar. I just went with the not so hot girl. And then spent a ton of money on it, <laughs> on her. Because <laughs> there's really not nobody else. I'll just wait the next weekend. 8 out of 35, Luis Urias for Daniel Patera and the Padres. Oh, you're in break three, Yankees. Okay. Out of 399, Michael P Kopech and Diego Castillo to 299. I, don't know. I think you guys, you guys have to really rebuild that starting pitching. 
And I think the young arms in the Cubs system aren't. Well, I think the Cubs farm system is a little thin too, but. Padres take the lead on it. Ian Kinsler, yes, he's still alive. Ian Kinsler, three-run home run. Nice, a 4-2 lead for the Padres. There's Joey Votto, Zebra. At a 75. <laughs> Bad example, Joe, says Drew. I have a lot of friends that do that at the bar. Well, they shouldn't. Tell them to stop being so thirsty, Drew. Just relax. Get him next week. <laughs> next weekend. Try again. Act like you've been there before. There's Garrett Hampson for the Rocks. Rockies just called Rick Barker with the Rockies. There you go, Rick. Have all your teams hit today? I think so. Um, Rockies, ladies and gentlemen, just called up Brendan Rodgers. So dust off your Brendan Rodgers autographs. No, not the former Liverpool coach and current Leicester City coach. Brendan Rodgers, the, uh, the middle infielder. I'm sure everyone makes that mistake here all the time. There's Jeremy Jeffries to 399. And Tyler Maley to 299. Gilo saying, I just realized how, how godly the Padres infield is. It's a pretty good infield, right? I got Hosmer at first. I got Kinsler at second, who's still pretty effective. Machado at short. I guess Machado would be at third, and Tatis Jr. would be at, at short if he was healthy. But I think Luis Urias still gets some, some time in middle in, in sec, at second base, too. Yeah, they've got a really young, exciting team. I think they're a lot closer than I guess I thought they'd be. Signing Machado for that much money was also a big statement of intent. I think that's a great that Machado deal was fantastic for I know he's not hitting super well. He's only hitting two sixty seven. He's like a three hundred hitter, two ninety, three hundred hitter. And I know that wasn't you know it was a big move for the Padre. And I and I think they have to be they have to be because because they're the only show in town. They're the only professional club in town. Now three ninety nine Tyler Maley. Now to one fifty. Matt Carpenter. And shouldn't there be one more? Oh, I think it's right there. There it is. It's Tuki Toussaint. He's been called up and down and up and down. If he can get the walks down, Daniel Sloan. He's got a pretty live arm. Yeah, I've, I've asked, uh, I've requested the, the buyer, the, the buying department. I've requested some saga to be added. There's Josh Donaldson to 99. I think there are a couple nice soccer releases that are coming out. But I think we're going to kind of wait until maybe a little bit after those release dates. Maybe kind of see if the price goes down on a little bit. And then try to snag those. I think Tops is doing Museum Collection Champions League, uh, which I think would be cool. But I don't think they've released a checklist yet, so I think we're, we're hesitant on pulling the trigger on that. Um, we did have we did have those uh, hit parade comic breaks, Todd. You must have missed those. The Infinity War break. For soccer, we usually do, well. It depends on the checklist. We would usually split it. If it's Champions League, it'd be by club. So we would we would split it by club. Whatever the however many teams they put in Champions League. Maybe combo some teams. Maybe you combo like the Turkish team like Fabernash with, 
Ajax or something like that. You know, whatever random Swiss team that got into the Champions League group stages, you would combo that with some other random team. All right, second to last box. This is the last one right here. We're almost there, folks. Six more autos to go. Good luck. Sean Newcomb to 99. Zebra. There's Thomas Pannone. Pannone, Pannone. Snakeskin to Zach and the Bluebirds. Framber Valdez, 48 out of 75. Rookie X-Fractor autograph for the Strohs. Jay Tinney with the Strohs. Got the Astros in a spot random. There's Mike fulton Evitz to 199. Max Scherzer to 399. Yeah, now, now is the time for that, Vince. Now is the appropriate time. Let's try to find a Yelich for you. He must be really short printed. Those, those vets usually are. There's a Yensi Almonte to 399 for the Rockies. There's Mike fulton Evitz again to 399. There's Luis Urias. There's Eniel de los Santos for the Phillies to 299. At a 299, Pablo Lopez for the Marlins. WNBA is going to release some sets. I feel like there could be a market for that. I think there's a there's a stronger association with fans and their college teams because the girls stay in the leagues or in the, in college a little bit longer. Jimon Choi, so that could could spill over into WNBA. There's Brad Keller, sixty two out of ninety nine. Zebra. There's that one chick. I. She has a really tough name. Um, there is one girl who does analysis, basketball analysis for ESPN now. Like Awuzie or something like that is her last name. And she has a sister on the LA Sparks. They just signed her to the Sparks, so it's these two sisters will be playing on the same team. So that's been causing a little bit of hype in LA. Some excitement here. Out of three ninety nine, so because WNB there's Aaron Nola to one fifty. WNBA is interesting because they they let their players kind of do other other jobs while they're doing while they're professional NBA WNBA athletes, right? So we're gonna start to see a lot of them kind of in the media space, I think, or doing some other ventures, and I think that'll be interesting because that could create the sort of the hype for potential collectibles. Reese McGuire to sixty. Scott Barlow, 299. As opposed to if they were just WNBA players. That might not work at the moment. Mike fulton to 25. Burgundy Shimmer. And there's Red Turn 2, Justin Turner. Out of 390, who's been really heating up lately. Always has slow Aprils. Justin Turner, but then we'll turn it on in May. There's Starlin Castro out of 150 for the fish. There's Wilson Ramos. Oh, Mike? She's been doing ESPN radio, too. Mike Miner, 299. Max Muncy, 35. Nice one for the Dodgers. Oh, Gregory Polanco hit a home run. Oh, leads 4-3 Padres. Right, so it looks like I'll have to sweat this one out, huh? Wilson Ramos to 199. And a train whistle. There's Blake Trinan. Four out of five for the Oakland A's. Tyler Fernandez. Out of fives and under, Tyler. Get the train whistle.
All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! And Luis Ortiz, Zebra, 12 out of 99. That's right, the sis those two sisters played for Stanford. Now they're on the Sparks. Their parents are happy. <laughs> Luis Ortiz for the O's. That's going to go to EA. And we got Jose Urania. Out of 199 for Rick and the Fish. You also get that Pablo Lopez, too, Atomic. There you go. There we are. There's your three autographs, all parallels. And the last three autos. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. We made it. We're at the 121 and 35 second mark. Almost there. It's kind of uh, running out of steam a little bit here. But as they say in the medical industry, I saw this true story, you guys. I saw and girls. I saw this in the uh, New England Journal of Medicine. New England Journal of Medicine uh, that a case of prison baseball a day keeps the doctor away. So, I mean, if the doctor says, we should do another one tomorrow. I'm down. Yeah, you know what, Paul? I had spring plans for Cooperstown. Oh, you're going next weekend? That sounds fun. Um, once it it's June, too many people. So when does it die down again? Maybe maybe uh, I can enjoy the, the, the cool New York fall. Yeah, maybe I can go in like October. That feels too cold. August, September. I would love to do a break at Cooperstown. Maybe after Labor Day. Let's all let's all bring gloves and we can play catch. Can all have a catch? All right, last box. Good luck. Mike Miner's been pitching well. There's Chris Bryant. He's been heating up. Chris Bryant to 150 for the Cubs. And there it is. Vlad Guerrero Jr. Red Prism autograph for Zach and the Blue Jays. We got every Blue Jay, and now Vlad. Done and done. Mission accomplished. Two dingers last night. Career home run one and two. First of many, I hope. It's good for the hobby. There's Scott Barlow to 199. There's Xander Bogarts to 150. You're welcome, Zach. There's Caleb Ferguson. Rookie auto for my Dodgers. That goes to Ryan L. There you go, Ryan. This guy's, is, this guy's pretty tall. As tall as a tree. All right. Cody Bellinger. Possible MVP. It's a good MVP race between Cody Bellinger and Kristen Yelich. I'm looking for a Yelich, too. There's Boggsy, Wade Boggs, to 299. Red Sox edition. Ozzy Albius to 299 for the Bravos. Should be expecting one more autograph and then whatever. Parallels we find in here. Tulo. Ponce de Leon. Uh, wasn't he the one looking for the Fountain of Youth? 
Isaac Galloway. Trevor Richards for Miami to 399. So a lot of parallels for Miami too. Trevor Story. We've got Yimer Candelario. Wasn't there a, another Candelario in baseball? Or am I thinking of Candy Maldonado? A John Candelario? And we've got C.D. Pelham. 22 out of 50. No one listens to CDs anymore. Snakeskin Auto for the Rangers. Jeremy S. with the Texas Rangers. There's Colby Allard, 399. We got Abital Avellino to 75 for the Giants. And we got Brian Anderson to 75 for the Marlins. And that, my friends, is that. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was 12 box picker team two of 2019 Panini Prism Baseball. A Prism Baseball a day keeps the doctor away, so let's knock out another one tomorrow on jazbeescasebreaks.com. For the rest of you watching live, we still have still like another hour to get another one in if you want to. So check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time. Bye.